everyone, welcome into the at Flippin' Hippo's YouTube channel. I'm Star the Flippin' Hippo. Today is Monday, October 12th, which means that it's time for what sold on eBay. Just like every week, guys, I'm gonna take you on a little stroll through our Instagram photos of our shipping piles from the week, just to kind of give you an idea of our volume of sales and how things have been going. Then we'll jump on over to eBay where I have selected out some highlights of our sales from the week to give you an idea of good brands to be on the lookout for when you're outsourcing. Today is a federal holiday here in the United States, so our post offices are closed, so I do not have a shipping photo for you guys today, but I can show you that we are right on target of where we should be as far as our volume and our sell-through rate. We have 32 items sitting here waiting for uh, labels and shipment. So we'll do our shipping tomorrow and that will encompass Friday through Tuesday. Hopefully we'll pick up some more sales and we'll be well over 40 sales. So we're right on target. Last weekend, we were below where we should be. We had 27 going out and 22 of those were eBay, four Poshmark and one wholesale. Uh, last weekend was just really slow, and it kind of was a trend that continued into the week. Tuesday, we had eight. One was Macari. Wednesday, we had eight. Thursday was really slow. We only had five packages go out that day. And then Friday, it picked up, and we had 11. Ten of those were eBay, one Poshmark. So we had like a slow weekend, a slow week. Friday, we bounced back and had really good sales. And then that continued into the weekend and we're sitting at 32 plus a sprinkling of uh, sales on some other platforms. So it looks like things are starting to pick up in the second week of Q4. I don't fully expect to see the stellar Amazeball Q4 sales right away in October. The, that will pick up as we get closer to the holidays. Also, you guys remember 2020 is the year of the poop. There's a lot going on. The economy is not great. Uh, the election is a couple weeks away. People are waiting on a stimulus package. And it's just not anything I can compare. I've never been through a year like this where I can say, hey, this is normal. I don't. We don't know what's going to happen. And then also the whole item-specific debacle that's going on. Is that affecting sales? Is it not? I don't know. But you know what? I'm going to take every sale I can get and be happy with it and just keep listing and stay positive and just keep working, guys. Um, people are going to have to shop for the holidays, period. So hopefully things will continue on this trend we've been seeing this past week of things picking up. All right, let's go over to eBay. We're going to start with the plush, as always, because they're my favorite. This is an Aurora Panda Bear. Aurora is a... Hard word for me to say. It's a good brand. It's pretty basic bread and butter brand for plush. Some of the bigger ones from this brand or the more unique animals will sell for a little bit more. This panda was 50 cents at the Goodwill, sold for $13.12 and shipped first class. Next up, we have a Disney World Resort Winnie the Pooh Tigger in a safari hat and shirt. He's really cute. He was 50 cents at the Goodwill. He sold for best offer of $14.50 and he shipped first class. We have another Walt Disney plush here. This is a classic poo. He was 50 cents, sold for $9.99, shipped first class. Here we have a Coles Cares Pluto. Close Cares is a decent brand. It sells uh, pretty decently most characters. I would consider bread and butter. If you uh, find the more obscure characters, the less saturated ones, they go for a little bit more money. But I like Cole's Cares. I do pick it up anytime I see it. Pluto here sold for $13.99, was 50 cents at the Goodwill, shipped first class. Next up, we have a Hershey Park Hershey's Milk Chocolate Bar from the petting zoo. If y'all ever see tags with the petting zoo, it is part of the Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. So you can go ahead and grab those with confidence. 
That's what it, the petting zoo pet tag looks like, guys. This Hershey Kiss was 50 cents, sold on a best offer of 11, and shipped first class. Dandy. Dandy and Dandy Collector's Choice were Kmart brands at one time, and they are a bolo, or it is a bolo, I should say. Dandy is a definite brand you want to snatch up anytime you see it. This dinosaur, the Triceratops, was really big. He was 21 inches. He weighed over a pound as well. I did only pay 50 cents for him, which is pretty cool. And I took a best offer of 20 and the buyer paid for shipping in addition to that. So I had the calculated shipping on him and he went in a large priority box. Next up, we have a Disney Moana Pua Pig. 50 cents was our cost at the Goodwill. It's a very small, eight inch, seven inch, sorry, little pig from the Disney movie Moana. Sold for $11.99, shipped first class. All right, that was all the plush that sold throughout the week. We're going to jump into clothes now. This pair of Miss Me women's jeans just came out of a thread up box a little over a week ago. Not just this past Friday, but the week before. I did a thread up unboxing on our channel. And so far, we have sold two items from that box. Both were high dollar items. This pair of Miss Me jeans and then another pair of jeans I'm going to show you in a second. Um, so I was really happy with that box. There was like no poop, tons of bread and butter, and it had a handful of, um, Bolo brands. These sold really fast, especially for Miss Me jeans. I feel like Miss Me jeans are typically long tail, but every once in a while I'll list a pair and it'll sell overnight or within a few days. And it's probably just a matter of having the exact right style and the exact right size at the same time a buyer is looking for them. These had the Fleur the Lee on the pockets, and they sold on a best offer of 40 and shipped in a padded flat. Um, size 32 is a good size, by the way. That's where your plus sizes start on Poshmark. Here we have a Columbia PFG Vinted Fishing Shirt. These are bolos, guys. Um, our pictures look awful. The shirt's really wrinkled. <laughs> you might want to steam these before you take your photo. Um, these wrinkle really easily, whatever the material is on these shirts. Um, I've steamed them before and then laid them over a chair and gone back a day or two later to do a photo shoot and they've already were wrinkles and stuff. So you want to leave them on a hanger or photograph them like right after you steam them. Um, it's whatever the material is. But in spite of it looking wrinkled and horrible, it did sell. <laughs> and it came out of a wholesale lot that we purchased so the cost of goods on the shirt was like a dollar and sold for best offer of twenty dollars and twenty four cents shipped first class next up we have a pair of men's sean john relaxed wide leg jeans these came out of a wholesale lot our cost was around two dollars these sold for twenty eight twelve and shipped in a padded flat Here's a Diane Gilman snakeskin print silk jacket. This came out of a wholesale lot as well. Average cost on it was about two bucks. I have to double check how it shipped. It did still go first class. So even though it was a jacket, it still was lightweight and shipped first class. It sold for a best offer of $22.49. Here we have a pair of men's Levi's jeans. These came out of a wholesale box, so these were about $2. Uh, these sold within a couple of days of being listed. I love men's jeans, period, any brand. They seem to sell way faster than women's, and they always sell for more money. These sold for the full asking price of $24.99. They shipped in a padded flat. Not Your Daughter's Jeans. This is a good bread and butter brand. I pick these up in any size, any style, and do pretty well with them. The, these ones even had a flaw. You can see there's a thread on the back leg there. So this pair came from the Goodwill, I believe, and was 99 cents. We took a best offer of $22, and they shipped in a padded flat. 
Here's the other pair from the thread up box that has already sold. Desegual, I cannot say that word, but you can see it there for yourselves. And this is what the um, inner tag looks like on the pants. I pulled these out of the thread up. I had no idea what I had. I wasn't sure what they were. I almost called them poop. Um, but thankfully, a lot of the viewers were familiar with this brand and told me that it's actually a bolo. And I really had something here. And in addition to being a great brand, these were also uh, linen blend. Linen is one of those materials that you can ask more money for. Um, any type of clothing, any brand, if it's got linen in it, it's just like cashmere or wool. You can ask for more money. It's a, it's a bolo material. Uh, so yeah, I did learn about a new brand from the Thread Up Box, which I'm totally stoked about. I don't think I will ever see these in the wild here in Pennsylvania. I just don't see a lot of these designer or luxury brands here. And that's one of the reasons why I really like ordering Thread Up Boxes and the wholesale boxes, because I get a lot of pieces from other states and I get to learn about and to see brands that are new to me that I normally would never see. So I'm always learning, right? Anyway, these went up for $45.99, but I did take a best offer of $40 on them, which is what I really wanted. And they did ship um, in first class, so that's even better. Uh, they shipped first class, which is cheaper than a pad of flat, and they sold for $40. Bucks. And I learned about a new brand, you guys, and maybe you did too. Next up, we have Madewell. I found two pairs of Madewell at the Goodwill a couple months ago, 99 cents a piece, which is exciting because Madewell is a bolo brand. And this pair even had damage. You can see right there on the knee, which I disclosed in the listing and photographed. I took a best offer on these of $40 and they did ship um, in a pad of flat. Next up, we have Democracy. This is a brand that I do really well with. Now, if you comp Democracy, there's a lot of people selling this brand um, for a lot less than what I do. It's just one of those brands that I price high and I do well um, and I don't mind the comps. If you look at like comps on Silver Jeans and Miss Me Jeans sometimes, I mean, there are people that just race to the bottom. I've always gotten between 30 and 40 for democracy, more if it has tags. So I just list it at what I know I can get for it. And these have the app technology. So I tell you guys all the time, any jeans that have app technology, slimming, tucking, lifting, shaping, any of that, that's something you wanna look for. Uh, those do really well. These sold for $37.99. They were 99 cents at the Goodwill, and they shipped in a padded flat. This is a men's Pearl Azumi Windbreaker. $1 cost out of a wholesale lot. We took a best offer of 30 and it shipped first class. This is a good brand. Keep your eyes out for it. Tommy Hilfiger jeans. Everyone thinks that these are, you know, not worth anything anymore, and you can't sell them. These moved within a week of being listed for $19.99. It probably helps that they were plus size 18, um, but they did sell real fast for $19.99 and shipped in a padded flat. Chico's women's pull-on black pants came out of a wholesale lot, so the cost was around two bucks. These sold super fast as well, then a couple days of going up, and these sold for $21.99 and they shipped in a pad of flat. Next up, we have these Sean John women's pants. They are a plus size. They are nice velvet pants, and they were also new with tags. So this came out of a, a wholesale lot. Cost was two bucks. Sold on a best offer of $37.79 and shipped in a padded flat. Banana Republic men's jeans. I was surprised by these, but hey, I'll take it. Sold within a week of being listed. Our cost was two bucks out of a wholesale lot. They sold for 21 to 84 and they shipped in a padded flat. Here we have a North Face men's button front shirt. This came to us out of a 
in a wholesale lot where everything averaged out to around a dollar a piece. So our cost was about a buck and sold for $20.90 pretty quickly, shipped first class. I also wanted to show you guys this North Face just to quickly touch upon um, a thread that's in our Facebook group right now about North Face. Uh, North Face with tags, new with tags on eBay is a zero and it can get you in trouble or get your account suspended. North Face was having issues at one time with people stealing clothing from the store and then reselling it online. So they do keep an eye out. And North Face themselves has employees, not just eBay, who look for their items online, especially on eBay, new at tags. So I would not list new at tags North Face on eBay ever. I'm okay with listing the used. I feel like they don't care about that so much. But if you're nervous about it, I would recommend just listing them on a different platform altogether. And then I wanted to show you one remote this week. And it's all scratched up and damaged, but it's still sold for $34.99. So this is an AV control receiver remote. You guys can kind of see what it looks like. If you see something like this in the wild, do you want to grab it? Because it's one of those remotes that just sells for quite a bit. Our cost was 53 cents and it shipped first class. All right, guys, let me know down in the comments how your sales are going. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe and help us feed a hungry hippo. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. It's called Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. There's a link down below for you. If you haven't already, follow us on all of our social media. We're at Flippin' Hippos everywhere. And until next time, go be productive. Go make some money. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Y'all are the best. Bye.